We're now going to look at page 3 of the handout for 2.5. Remember, you can pause this video at any time and rewind if you want to hear me talk through a problem again. So we're starting with example 6. These still will be saying solve the equation and round to four decimals if you have to. The reason why we'll know we have to on these problems is these are exponential equations where you cannot get the same base on both sides. That's always your first goal. So on number six, I can't get a base of five on both sides. So if I can't get that base, I'm going to take the natural log of both sides. As long as I do the same, perform the same piece on both sides, I'm okay. So I'm going to use the power rule, bring down the exponent, and then divide by that natural log of 5. I know we want to think of that natural log of 5 as a variable, but it's not. It's a number. So now we can plug this in my calculator. And again, remember to be very careful to close your parentheses before you do your division. And we're going to round to the nearest four decimal places. So my answer here should be 1.5440. I can check this in my calculator by going back to the original problem. If you do on your calculator 5 caret answer, which would take this whole answer, you should actually get 12. If you plug in the, the, the rounded answer, it should be approximately 12. It won't be exact. So going to number 7, I'm going to still take the natural log of both sides because I can't get the same base on both sides. In this case, because natural log and base E are inverses of each other, again, they essentially cancel each other out, so the 2y comes down. And now I divide by 2. Again, remember to close that parentheses. And we plug this into our calculator. And again, the way you could check it is E caret parentheses 2 times 1.3540, which gives me approximately 15, or E caret 2 times answer. Use that answer button on the bottom right-hand corner of your calculator. I can't get the same base on both sides of this problem, so I'm going to take the natural log of both sides so that I can pull down the exponent, which is what I want to solve for. Be careful, this is a binomial in that exponent, so you need to make sure you put in parentheses. The natural log of 2 and natural log of 6 are actual numbers, so I'm going to distribute that but leave it in that form. So x natural log of 2 plus natural log of 2, x natural log of 6 minus natural log of 6. I need to solve for x, so I need to move those two terms onto the same side, and then I need to move the constants onto the same side. So I have x natural log of 2 minus x natural log of 6, negative natural log of 6 minus a natural log of 2. The right-hand side is just an actual number. On the left-hand side, I'm going to use the distributive property to pull out my x, which is my goal to isolate that, and divide by that parentheses. This is one you have to be extremely careful when you're putting it in your calculator because you need to take the whole numerator divided by the whole denominator, so there needs to be parentheses around those pieces. One other way you could do it is plug in the whole numerator, press equals, so that that simplifies, and then divided by, but you would still need a parentheses around the denominator. The approximation is 2.2619. Going to number 9, I can't get the same base, but we're going to use natural log of both sides. These natural logs will, again, cancel with the base E, since they're inverses. In this case, we're going to add one to both sides, 
plug this in my calculator. Again, make sure you're outside of the natural log when you're adding the 6. Some of the battle in this section is just making sure you're clear on how to enter into your calculator and you're being careful. Please show your work. Super easy to make mistakes plugging into your calculator, but if I can see work on your paper, I can at least give you most of the credit. So we're now going to go to the word problems. Okay. So we are going to start with dealing with this problem, which is going back to using our compound interest. So since we're compounding interest, my formula is A equals P 1 plus R over M times MT. And if you again use N instead, that's okay. What we know in this problem is R is equal to, sorry, R is equal to 0 0.03, M is 1 since it's annual, okay. and I want it to double for this problem. So I don't actually know A and P, but I want it to double. So that means I want 2P to be my end amount. So I do have still two variables, but I can divide both sides by P. I'm going to go ahead and combine that. So now I'm back to a problem where I can't get the same base on both sides. I want to solve for the exponent, which means use logarithms. So I'm going to take the natural log of 2. That T can come down because it's in the exponent when I take the natural log. This is my goal. So T is equal to natural log of 2 over natural log of 1.03. Plug that in my calculator, 23.4 years approximately. How do I know I'm using logarithms? It's because I'm wanting to solve for what's in the exponent. So last one, this problem actually comes directly from the textbook. It's, it's um, an actual homework problem. So if you see a problem similar to this, it may um, be exactly the same, except for it will have different numbers. So U.S. Census Bureau has reported that the U.S. is becoming more diverse. The proje projected Hispanic population in millions, so remember we always have to be careful about our units, has modeled, was modeled by the exponential function. Zero corresponds to year 2000, and we're only concerned between zero and 50 for my time. We want to estimate when it will double the 2005 population of 42.69. So they got a lot of extra numbers in here. But if we want it to double, we're not doubling the original. That's where you got to be careful. We're doubling the amount in 2005, which means I am doubling this amount. So 42.69 times 2 equals 85.38. That's what I want the result to be. That's what I want the population. So I'm going to plug that in. First, I need to put it in a form that I can use the natural log. So I'm going to divide both sides by the 37.79. I'm not going to round that. If it comes out exact, great. But if you double round, it will throw the problem off. So. Notice what I did there. I first divided it to get rid of that piece. And now I'd gotten a step ahead of myself. Now I'm going to take the natural log because now it's in the format that I can take it. I have a, an exponential form on one side. So I'm going to bring down that exponent. and then divide by that piece. So you'll notice that this gets a little bit busy on what I'm writing. And it's really important that y'all practice using your calculator so that you're comfortable on 
test day because I didn't double round anything here. I'm actually typing this exact piece the way it is into my calculator. Make sure you are exiting out of that natural log on the top before you put in the denominator piece. When you do this, you should get 39.2 years, which is between the zero and 50 years, which was my, my domain above. And this says, estimate in what year, so be careful, year zero is 2000, add the 39, so in year 2039, approximately.